Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman from CTTechJunkie.com. You know, securing your Twitter account now is pretty much essential. It's almost as essential as an email account, especially for brands and, and media organizations. And most notably, the Associated Press had their Twitter account hacked just recently, and somebody went in there and posted an erroneous report that the White House was attacked, and that in turn uh, led to the stock market actually taking a temporary dive in the process. It was a pretty scary moment. And uh, one of the reasons why that account was hacked was that uh, many different users at the Associated Press had the ability to post to that account. And it was if you have ability to post to a Twitter account, it was also very easy to give applications the ability to do that as well, oftentimes without having another password entered. And that's exactly what happened to the AP. Somebody sent them a link. Uh, that user clicked on that link and it immediately uh, allowed that hacker access. So uh, Twitter has implemented a two-factor authentication system, which I think you should definitely think about implementing. And what that does is it adds a new layer of security so that in addition to your password, you also need to have your cell phone and get a code uh, delivered to that phone before you can go in and grant authorization to those applications. And Google implemented a very similar version of this a few months ago, and uh, we did an extensive report on how to as to uh, how that process works, and we're going to do the same thing with Twitter right now. So let's have a look. Now you need to activate this feature through the Twitter website. You won't be able to do it through one of their apps. So uh, log on to your account through there, and you want to click on the gear icon in the upper right-hand corner and go to settings. Now once you're in settings, you're going to see a new option, if you uh, spend any time in here, called account security. And this is going to require a verification code when you sign in. And you'll notice here that we're not able to turn it on yet because we don't have a phone assigned to our account. So what we're going to do real quick is add a phone. I'm going to probably put in my uh, Google Voice number. Now the one problem with this is that it requires that you only um, can use one cell phone across all of Twitter. So if you manage multiple accounts, you're going to have to find a few more phone numbers that can accept text messages in order to get it to work. So uh, one of those ways is to have a Google Voice account or something uh, other than your cell phone so that you can uh, be able to do that. And it's also going to make things more difficult for accounts that are managed by more than one person. But at the same time, uh, having the ability to only have one person be the one to approve apps that use Twitter uh, might actually be a really good security feature. So we're going to take a quick break here. and We're going to get my uh, Twitter account attached to my Google Voice account, and we'll show you what happens next. Now, once you get your phone verified with Twitter, you're going to want to turn off all of these text notifications. Otherwise, your life will become miserable because you're going to get text notifications every time uh, something happens on your account. So uh, we're going to turn off all of these things, and then we're going to click Save. And I think I had already made these changes, so the Save button isn't uh, available there. So now we have our phone set up, and now we're going to go back in and set up the account security. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so now that we have gone through and verified our cell phone with Twitter, we can now click on that verification link that was not able to be clicked on before. And what it's going to do is just send me a text message to make sure that they can communicate with my phone. So um, they are going to send that out. And I just need to acknowledge that I got the message, which I did on my phone. So I'm going to click Yes. And now it's going to ask me to re-enter my current Twitter password. So I have uh, LastPass up here. So we're just going to go in here and copy my password and paste it in here and hit Save Changes. And now what's going to happen is we are going to be uh, protected. So now what will happen is if I log out of my Twitter account and log back in, so let's uh, sign out here, and let me just close this here and log back in, um, it will now ask me for a verification code. And that code was just sent to my cell phone. It's uh, basically a text message, and you may have seen this on some other systems. Um, that gives you a temporary code that will expire. So the nice thing about this is that if somebody has my password, um, they will not be able to get into my account unless they also have my phone. So we have some degree of security there. Now, the only problem is going to be what happens when you have an app that uses Twitter uh, and doesn't allow for this uh, two-factor authentication to happen. And what Twitter's done, I think rather smartly, is uh, replicated something that Google is doing, which is a, essentially an application-specific password. And let me show you uh, how those will work. So if we go back to our screen here, we'll go into our account settings once more, and we'll go down to our verification thing. And what it's going to do here is uh, you can generate a temporary password that will allow you to use other apps and devices to sign in. So if I click here, and this might take a second, 
um, I will get into my applications that I've allowed access to Twitter. So right now, all of these applications do not need another password to get in, but if I were to revoke access on any of these and then go back in again, uh, it will, of course, require me to do that. So I just revoked uh, BeLive, and if BeLive were to want to use this again, I need to generate one of these passwords. So this adds a step, because now if you want to use a, an application that is not a Twitter application that doesn't support the two-factor authentication, you're going to have to go to this screen and generate the password first. But if your account is really important, like your corporate brand, you might you know, want to go through this extra step to make sure that things are going to work properly. So we're going to go back over here and generate that temporary password. And again, it's going to want our current password from, uh, for Twitter. So I'm going to copy that again and paste it into here. And now it's going to give this temporary password out here. And I need to type this in uh, to the application that's going to use it. Now, the important thing is, is that it will expire in an hour which means that if you were to go and type this password in, it won't work for you. But um, if nothing uses it within an hour, it goes dead, and it will not work at all. So um, it's a rather neat way to be able to protect yourself. And the nice thing is, is that if you have many people using your Twitter account, uh, in order for an application to be able to post to your Twitter account, they're going to need your cell phone number to get into your web account to be able to generate one of these temporary passwords. So it basically shuts out a hacker that um, would use a click link to try to get somebody to uh, post on, on their behalf. And uh, basically, that's pretty much how the AP attack worked, is that Twitter often just had what was called an authentication step, where if you were already logged into your account and you just clicked a button, it would allow that application access to post. And this adds another step that makes it nearly impossible for someone to use that vector uh, to get in there. It's still, of course, not foolproof if somebody were to take your phone or, or hack into perhaps your, your Google Voice account or something, um, they could, you know, of course, get into it. But it makes it a lot more difficult. So I do suggest you take a look at the Twitter uh, security feature that just got activated and uh, give it a shot because I think it will really uh, help secure your Twitter account and will prevent your friends and family from getting hacked as well because if you're not hacked, they won't get hacked messages trying to hack them. So uh, this is Lon Seidman from CTTechJunkie.com. Thanks for watching.